So what's on a futurologist's mind? Three things that I think we need to watch now that will explode even more in 2021. So what are they? The first is what I call augmented commerce. We're going to see the significant shift from e-commerce, what we all know of as online retail, moving towards e-commerce or augmented commerce, the use of augmented reality to be able to infuse the buying experience and the ability to inform, to persuade and to convert people into thinking about why they should buy your product over others using augmented reality where you, all you need to do is hold up your device, your phone or your tablet, activate the camera and then with a visual trigger, the same way you use a QR code, this visual trigger could be pointing your phone at the brand's logo when you're browsing their website or it could be an offline ad that then triggers a digital information to hit their screens in a way that's far more immersive. We learn up to six times more using immersive forms and augmented commerce is going to explode. The second is human perception AI. Now that's my name for it. It's technically called cognitive computing or effective computing. That's effective with an A. What is this? This is giving software the ability to perceive, think and respond to you and understand your human emotions. So it's giving software the ability to develop cognition and to understand the workings of the human brain. And this can be used in the form of digital people avatars that are developed companies such as Soul Machines, a New Zealand company, I have no commercial connection with them by the way, or it can be used in automotive industries where it can be integrated into a black box and it can read your levels of distraction or fatigue or anger while you're driving and it can certainly be used in customer service to be able to be available to your customers outside of the confines of nine to six so that I could log in at 11 o'clock and talk to my bank or talk to my phone service provider using a bot that actually understands what I mean. The third area that I think is important to watch is we're going to move from what we call the internet of things, things like your objects connected to the internet, to an internet of everything. So things like a digital pill that's just been approved in the US, where you could swallow this safe to ingest pill, and as this wearable will detect different issues in your bloodstream and serve that information up to your clinician or yourself, it could tell that you're ill before you ever do. That's a bit more futuristic, but that's one example of what we mean by the internet of everything. So stay tuned for the next edition.